Imagine taking this video and turning it into this video programmatically. So Python? Yes. And Blender? Yes. With text! Most oh, people yeah, think no, this no, is no, barking no, mad. Okay, let's get down to business and discuss the actual how-to of this blender overlaying text using the video sequence editor. So in the last one we just did 3D stuff. This is going to be real actual videos from outside of blender and we're going to do something with them. So we have four little scripts that I will walk through and show you how they work. There's a blog post that I'm showing right now and it is on pagekey.io, link in the description, but let's jump into the code. So to start off, I just have an example of how to use the common.py here because I didn't want to be copy and pasting code all over the place. So the first example is just, look, we're gonna import basically everything that we did in the previous tutorials. It's gonna be the same code to render and set up the camera and clear objects, all that stuff. And this just renders a moving cube. So you can see how much shorter the code gets when you start abstracting things out like that. So we render our 10 frame cube and we get number two, and this is all in the O2 folder since this is the second video, S02, I put the S in front so that we can actually import code between these files. We're going to add a video as a plane. So you have to enable this add-on called image, uh, import image as planes, and then we just import the image, it gives us a plane object, and we can scale it and put it right in front of the camera, and if we render this, it looks something like this. Okay, so here it is, looks almost exactly the same but from the original, the colors do look a little less bright um, because it's actually an object in the 3D scene. So some processing did occur there and you'll notice it took quite a while. It took like, uh, you know, 30 seconds to a minute for this to complete. I don't really like this method unless you actually need this video in a greater 3D scene that you're creating. So if you just need to work with video and no 3D objects, then I think the next technique using the video sequence editor will be a lot more preferable. But it's good to know that you can add videos on a plane pretty easily to a Blender scene. Let's render number three here and look at the code. Basically we write these two, we write two things, one to add video, one to add audio. You actually have to take that original video and add two separate objects for it because the video or movie in the video sequence editor is just the frames. It's just the visual side. So we enable the sequence editor, add the video strip, and then we do the same thing for the exact same file, but we add the audio strip. That renders out and we get audio. You can specify the channel as well, and you'll see that these go on to separate channels in the video editor when you run it. If we run it not in the background, you can actually see the video editor right here. So channel two has the audio strip, channel one has the video strip, and if you wanna get in here and edit things, you can. Finally, instead of just passing the video through Blender just to show that we can do it, let's actually do something to that video. In this case, we're going to add text. So we still add it to the video strip just the way that we did in the last one, but then we're going to add a text script, which is just an effect in the video sequence editor, provide the text and the channel and frame start and end, and we'll just throw, you know, this video rocks, dude, font size, color, location, all that stuff. Render that out. Look how fast that's going. Way faster, almost real time. And then we end up with our final video. So that's really all there is to it. And I think that we can take this and work towards automatic captions. As always, we have pagekey.io that has this stuff available for you to look at, but I just moved all of the pagekey GitHub stuff over. Everything is archived now with a link to the GitLab where they are now located. So you can go on to pagekey GitLab and check out some of the different projects that we have there. And soon I'd like to add a library that has some of these common functions in it for video editing that other people can use. So I'm going to work towards something that can automatically edit the videos that I make on this channel. And I would like to keep it open source and available for others to use. So I'll put that here. It's a library for programmers and the like to use to make their lives easier and uh, automate things. So keep on the lookout for that. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Thanks and see you for the next one.